Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Satan Slaves Communion, which comes out later this week on Shudder. Satan Slaves Communion is from director Joko Anwar. Anwar is the director of both Impetigore and Satan Slaves, two really awesome, unique, and frightening films from Indonesia. As a whole, Indonesia has been producing a lot of solid horror flicks recently. May the Devil Take You, The Chanting, The Queen of Black Magic, but without a doubt, Joko Anwar is my favorite Indonesian horror director working today. I really enjoyed his 2017 film, Satan Slaves. It's easily one of the 10 scariest movies I've seen in the last five years. So when I was sent an early copy of the sequel, I could not wait to watch it. Satan Slaves Communion takes place right after the first film and tells the story of the family living in a rundown apartment who after escaping the terror from their mother, learn their new home is an even bigger threat to their lives. Fun fact, Satan Slaves Communion is the first Indonesian film to be shot with IMAX technology. Watching the film, you can definitely tell this is the case. Satan Slaves Communion feels much bigger in terms of budget and scale. The camera work is very showy and flowy, there's lots of movement, tracking shots, dolly pushes, and quick pans to corners for scares. This second film and the original remind me a ton of The Conjuring films due to this style of camera work, the focus on families at the heart of the paranormal stories, and the abundance of suspense and scares. I really appreciated Satan Slaves Communion's use of jump scares and specifically its restraint. There's only about 10 to 12 throughout and not a single scare felt wasted. None of them were cheap. Anwar takes his time, ramping up the sense of unease as characters investigate dark rooms, the suspense is palpable as these scenes go on for minutes, there's a great use of misdirection and fakeouts, not every suspense scene ends in a scare, and you never quite fully know when a scare is coming or where it is coming from. Beyond being a truly scary horror film, Satan Slaves Communion is also a truly horrifying horror film. This holds no punches at all. It is brutal at times, and the one scene involving the coins is honestly one of the most fucked images I have seen in a long time. This isn't just a movie that will startle you with its scares, it will also get under your skin with its ideas, concepts, and visuals. In terms of story, I liked it for the most part. There's an interesting central mystery, I like the journalist subplot, most of the characters were pretty likable, the opening was very strong. Though one issue I did have is the fact that this doesn't really have a protagonist that drives the story, and as a result, we're always bouncing back and forth between five different side stories with five different side characters in five different parts of the apartment complex. At times, it did feel a bit all over the place, more of an anthology than a cohesive single narrative. Towards the middle, before the shit really hit the fan, the story did drag a bit, and a lot of the scenes felt a bit repetitive. Overall, I strongly recommend checking out Satan Slaves Communion. I recommend checking out both 1 and 2. They're both equally scary, they're a lot of fun, and they're the perfect type of movie if you want to pop some popcorn, curl up under a blanket, and shit your pants. As I said, both movies feel very similar spiritually to The Conjuring. If you're a fan of those films, and if you're someone who doesn't traditionally watch foreign horror, I would absolutely say you should give Satan Slaves 1 and 2 a try. I give Satan Slaves Communion a 6.5 out of 10. Anyways, as always, those are just my thoughts on Satan Slaves Communion. Satan Slaves Communion comes out this week on November 4th on Shudder. Once all of you get a chance to check it out as well, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, Horror Flicks with Nick. Twice a week I post horror reviews, commentaries, and short recommendations for horror movies you should watch on Netflix and other streaming services. Thank you all for watching my review of Satan Slaves Communion. I'll see you all back next week for another early Shudder review.